Bitcoin's power needs are getting crazy. The power needs for Bitcoin mining are set to get a little nuts. According to research published in the journal Joule, Bitcoin's electricity needs may reach as high as 0.5% of the world's total by the end of 2018 and 5% within a few years. The same amount of electricity used in one Bitcoin transaction could power the average Dutch household for a month. The study says the Bitcoin network currently consumes 2.55 gigawatts of electricity, nearly the same as Ireland. By the end of 2018, the study predicts that number to rise to 7.8 gigawatts. Computers in the decentralized Bitcoin network calculating transactions compete every 10 minutes to create the next block of transactions in the chain. Known as Bitcoin mining, this process sees the winning hardware get 12.5 Bitcoins or around 100,000 US dollars. However, as Bitcoin calculations become more difficult to solve, people employing more computational power have a higher chance of winning. The problem with this, study author Alex DeVries explained to Gizmodo, is that the process motivates participants in the network to use more hardware and, as a result, more power. Writing on the research, Popular Mechanics notes that Bitcoin could, quote, single-handedly set back clean energy for decades. The publication writes that this level of Bitcoin electricity needs would require new fossil fuel burning power plants. More on cryptocurrency. Kim did it! Someone managed to pull off the world's biggest cryptocurrency heist last month, and surprise, surprise, the North Koreans might be involved. On January 26, 530 million US dollars worth of virtual XEM coins were stolen from Tokyo cryptocurrency exchange CoinCheck, affecting 260,000 customers. South Korea's National Intelligence Agency told lawmakers on Monday that it's possible North Korean hackers are behind the theft. It probably isn't the reclusive regime's first crypto crime either, as they're believed to have masterminded quite a number of attacks in recent years. UN sanctions blocking the North's exports have led to a trade deficit, and experts believe the pariah state is turning to cryptocurrency to get cash. Pyongyang hackers had previously targeted the South's cryptocurrency exchanges in 2017, reportedly stealing 26 billion won through malicious codes and emails and bogus forms. South Korea currently has no evidence to prove the North's involvement, but is now working with international authorities to look into the incident. Blockchain-based GLN wants to battle Steam and Apple Gaming. Let the gaming begin. And sure, another new cryptocurrency couldn't hurt. Game Loot Network Holdings is planning to use blockchain technology to create an alternative gaming market and player reward system to challenge Steam and Apple in the PC and mobile gaming market. GLN will use blockchain to handle transactions and its cryptocurrency Loot as part of its reward system. According to Digital Trends, GLN has raised 2.5 million US dollars in pre-sales, but will hold an initial coin offering on May 29th. The company said during a test run, they saw 5 million in transactions and had 65,000 users. GLN will also offer a platform called Build to let independent game developers submit game ideas, story concepts and demos, which will also allow gamers to support developers using the Loot digital currency. Cryptocurrency, coming to a bank near you? While most banks shy away from cryptocurrency, one of the world's most well-known financial institutions is all set to bring it to Wall Street. Goldman Sachs will soon begin using its own money to trade Bitcoin futures contracts on behalf of its clients. Futures contracts are legal agreements to buy and sell a certain number of assets at a predetermined price at a specified time in the future. The film's executives are still somewhat skeptical of Bitcoin, concluding that while it isn't a fraud, it doesn't have the characteristics of a currency. Still, clients were interested, so the company hired its first digital assets trader to handle the crypto trading operations. Goldman could buy and sell actual Bitcoin in the future, but will need to secure regulatory approval from the Federal Reserve to do so. They will also need to find a way to securely guard the Bitcoin to avoid it being stolen by hackers, as has been the fate of many digital currency exchanges. Experts have noted that the move will likely lend legitimacy to virtual currency and are wondering whether it will prompt other financial institutions to follow suit. Cryptocurrency using gold to attract Muslim investors Cryptocurrency traders are now turning to gold in order to draw investors from Muslim nations. Many Gulf states don't consider cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum as compliant with Sharia law, which emphasizes economic activity based on physical assets. 
to address this, Dubai startup One Gram has begun issuing a gold-backed cryptocurrency. Each unit has a corresponding gram of gold stored in a vault. The company obtained approval from an Islamic advisory firm and has so far issued tens of millions of dollars worth of the currency. Only 60% of the planned amount of coins remains to be sold. A similar gold-backed crypto from Hello Gold was released in Malaysia last October after receiving permission from Islamic scholars in Kuala Lumpur. Guess it's a win-win for crypto traders and devout Muslims alike. Samsung is now making crypto mining chips. Samsung is betting big on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies by jumping into the chip mining business. Samsung is manufacturing an application-specific integrated circuit, which is a custom-designed processor with the single task of mining for cryptocurrency. Mining refers to the solving of complex mathematical equations as a way to verify cryptocurrency transactions. People who use their computers to mine are given digital coins in exchange. According to Korean media, Samsung began mass-producing the ASIC chips earlier this month. Korean reports also claim Samsung made the move as a joint venture with an unnamed Chinese distribution firm. Mobile Coin raised 30 million US dollars for mobile payments. Just what the world needs, another new cryptocurrency. A new privacy-centric cryptocurrency called Mobile Coin recently raised 30 million US dollars in a Binance Labs-led fundraising event. The entire amount was denominated in Bitcoin and Ethereum. According to a mobile coin white paper, the currency will focus on speed, privacy and the ease of use without giving up controls of funds to a payment processing service. Mobile coin uses Stellar Consensus Protocol to record its transactions and will emphasize user privacy. The digital currency is designed so that mobile messaging apps like WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger or Signal can integrate with the mobile coin wallet. In order to be considered a viable alternative, MobileCoin will have to compete with established mobile payment services like Venmo and PayPal.